So Finn and Jake set out to find a new home. It's gonna be tough for a kid and a dog on their own. Here's a little house. Often sticking his foot in. Well, that's a bad idea, dude. Cause now that bird thinks you're a jerk, Finn. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. Whoopity I'm the best guy ever. Yeah, you said it, buddy. Uh, hey, what's up, Davu? You're here. Shippa doop boop poop. Allegedly. Uh, uh, Munchie is here. Hey, yo, my fucking shitty ex-wife repoed my entire house besides this tub <laughs> I bought in 1999. So now I'm recording this entire episode for my fucking tub because my shitty ass bitch ass ex-wife took out all my fucking eyeballs. It's the, the, the it's the challenge of our generation. Uh, Ben Saint is here. That's my name. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, God. No, shit. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Good. And uh, Digibros here. Hell yeah, nigga. Repping that well laid and well paid. Maslow get blown the fuck out. Uh, before we get into the episode itself. Uh, so at the end of the last episode, as you probably heard, it's been a week since then. Uh, as as it happens, and so at the very end of the last episode, we talked about our the new PCP merch that is available right now on two locations. And I, I, we didn't give any URLs. We didn't say what websites it won because that was still up for debate at the time, sort of. But it's all settled now, people. So I'm going to give you two links you can go to to buy official PCP merchandise. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the first one: Redbubble.com/people/procrastinators. This is all going to be in the description, but it's there. There you can buy. It's going to be, there's there's the main PCP logo. You can get that on everything, shirts, mugs, whatever the fuck you want. It's all there. they got a million things on Redbubble. Go buy that shit. And the other thing is on, uh, we've got a print all over me thing, uh, which are the shirts that Ben had made previously. Those are hosted there. They're a little fancier. They're, they're more expensive, real, they're but they're real better quality. They're real fancy. They're, they're, they're all over prints. They're, they're like, they're like luxury. They're like deluxe. You can just be, mm -hmm. you can just be swaddled in, in us, <laughs> swaddled in PCP everywhere you Basically, go. Basically, you won't look like you have a shirt that was obviously run through a website, you know, that's an, it, like, cause it's most true. of those shirts, you can tell where the rectangle begins and ends, and it makes you think about the fact that it was obviously through a third party fuck shit <laughs> so the print all over me thing is obviously supposed to make it not look like that it's the supposed print to all, be like the a print real all, shirt print all over me shirts are real fucking swank and choice they're great yeah. they these really shirts are, great. are basically for fucking sultans only and if you're not a sultan <laughs> then don't get it Exactly, and uh, 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 the Redbubble there, there's there, there's a, there's a more impressing announcement here about this, folks. On the Redbubble site, in addition to the Procrastinators mm. logo, it's not up right now, but I'm gonna put this up like as soon as we're done recording. There will be a PCP Patreon thing, the the Patreon PCP meme. That's gonna be a shirt on Redbubble, and you know you yeah. buy all the fun we need, items. We need that's more. going up, people. We need more designs that's going up. on the on the Redbubble. We're, we'll we'll make more in the future, but I'm, these yeah. there. These are good. We're going to expand These this. These are good. But here's the thing. That's going up for exactly one month, and then it's going away forever, and you will never have it ever again. It's your only chance if, for the history of history oh, to get this fucking shit. So you need to buy it right fucking now. There's no time to wait. You've you, only you, got you one month. You literally can't afford not to buy it. <laughs> exactly. This shirt, this, this, uh, just... this shirt or mug or fanny pack or bikini top <laughs> will, will pay for itself uh, ten times over. It's so true. And uh, uh, the just as the old Patreon logo is going away, that's why this is going away. And it will be replaced with a vastly shittier new <laughs> PCP Patreon logo that will be the only thing you can buy. Will, so you'll be condemned to that fate will, will, if you don't act truly fast. Capture the sh it will truly capture and encapsulate <laughs> the shittiness that is the new the new Patreon logo. We, like, we'll, we'll, exactly. we'll, just, we'll just distill it down to its shitty essence for you. We're going to pay them extra to spit on every piece of merchandise that that comes with. So, yeah. you know, just gear up for that. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to level with you. If you don't yeah. get this, the like the, the classic PCP Patreon shirt, I'm going to make mm -hmm. your wife barren. I'm going to take out her room <laughs> surgically. She's not going to be able to wow. bear your children. I'm, well, I'm there you go, gonna, folks. I'm, I'm just going to level with you. It's going to level with you right now. Redbubble's so uh, pretty... Ahead. It's, it's a good website. Mm -hmm. uh, the shirts are actually pretty good there, too. But there you go, okay, folks? We, we open the store. You can stop asking. You now have PCP merch. It's real. It's official. Go buy it all. Now, let's get into the actual episode. Yeah. All right? Homes and homelessness. Homes right. and homestuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What, oh my I God. Wait, I, what do you mean this isn't the Homestuck I, podcast? I, Fuck it. I'm out of here. I didn't even think of that connection. It's just going to be Homestuck oh, the entire time. It crossed Fuck. your mind. Uh, so here's the Urban Dictionary definition of homes, Jesus. plural. 
Uh, oh wait, no, this is terrible. Let's go. Okay, home. Here we go. Home. Uh, home, a place where I can poop for however long I desire. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Here's the description. I had dinner at Taco Bell, and then I went home and spent the rest of the night on the crapper. Well, all right, that's fine. Very descriptive. Uh, let's, let's see what, let's okay see what we've got that. for homeless. Uh, okay, homeless. When one has exhausted all resources and reduced to the insane condition of toting a small travel bag, aimlessly riding buses, selling plasma, nodding out in public libraries, standing in welfare lines, eating in soup kitchens, walking in a dream, whoa, sleeping in shelters and parks, worrying about the next fix, and knowing that going to jail is a step up in the social ladder. Jesus <laughs> Christ, that was descriptive and accurate. It was pretty accurate. I appreciate the thoroughness. Um, all right, let's get into it. So who's got a home? Uh, yeah, not, not Ben's. It's why me. is Ben here? <laughs> it's me. No, I live in a house now. I live in a house. It's Jesus amazing. Christ. He's moving up in the. I've world, lived everybody. in. I've lived in. I live in a house, um, and it's really nice. And you should all. You should all move to my city and be my real life buddy friends. Yeah, before oh we go into this, God. first we should have mm-hmm. a show of uh, hands or, or say I. Uh, who mm-hmm. all has lived in a house? I. 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 Yeah. Okay. So that's that literally I have everyone. Not. I Wait, what? Oh, okay. I've only ever lived in an apartment. Who, who has been homeless before in here? What? I no guess one? not us. Wait, not wait, who's who's here. been what? Homeless? Yeah. Yes. yes. No. You ever been homeless, Ben? No, no. Ben was a vagabond Didn't you, for a while. I wasn't, you like no. a well, I was couch a vag- surfer or something? No, I did, I did like... I did, like, travel across Europe for a couple months, but I did technically have a home in Poland. Like, the room the room that I was staying at in Poland, I, like, I kept renting it for that time. But it was, like, such a shit pile that it cost me, like, five bucks a day to, like, keep, to, like, keep it technically owning it. Or, uh, so, so I did technically have a home to go back to. I just, uh, was, like, staying in hostels for several months there. Well, you know, uh, a home is where the heart is. So I would say that Ben is sort of an internal homeless man, just yeah. for the lack of, of substance within him. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. for the lack of so that... soul and, and general. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. because I have no heart to put anywhere, therefore right, I cannot exactly. have a home by definition. It's oh, we slightly don't have off topic, but similar to that, uh, my mother called me brutal the other day, and I just wanted to... <laughs> yeah. how, is that, how is that related at all? Like a, a general lot. description She's of talking you. about how you had no heart. I just oh, wanted yeah, to say yeah. it. I thought oh, it was important. Right. That's, it yeah. is important, though. Yeah, yeah. J- Jesse is the one who has been homeless for some period of time, living in his car, I think, so it would have been nice to hear from him, but oh, well. uh, he's dead, so what yeah, can you do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's off celebrating so, his birthday. Everybody wish Jesse a happy birthday. Oh yeah, as Jesse, of ha- Jesse's a week birthday. ago when yeah. this is happy released. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy. B- okay, fucking Holmes. I hate not being alive. I think you can all agree. I want to continue being alive, and homes are a great way to do that. You're you you do still have a unique perspective here. So you grew up in like an apartment or something. Yep, yep. I've never yeah. been in a house ever. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> well, I've, I've been Radcom? inside of one. Yeah, but I've never uh, lived inside of one. Ever, so uh, are we, okay. okay. Are we making a distinction between home and house here? Because like, no, we well, all have no. homes. Well, yeah, but I, what I'm saying is, it, house is different than the apartment, and, and that is, those are both homes. It's like an okay. umbrella term. It's not like sandwich in that in that way. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's vague. It's like like you don't know it. Like you, you can't define it, but you know it when you see it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But it is like different because I'm not ha- I'm not a house boy, so I don't know the luxuries that come with owning a house. How have you I gotten away with being as loud as you are in an apartment? Hey, yo, what do you mean, Digi? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was quiet as they come, bro. I I moved into an apartment, you know, like two years ago or whatever, when I moved out to, to Cincinnati, and uh, yeah, like it's always been an issue having to be quiet. Uh, when I'm recording shit, now, like granted, for neighbors. It's not just that you live in an apartment, but you also live in a shitty, rundown shack of an apartment. So that oh mine, yeah. oh yeah, who are you that's talking true. to? Because that's, that's Nate. true for mine. In this as case, well. it's me. Oh. I, I would I would get bet money that mine is significantly worse than wherever you currently reside. Uh, probably, mine is a, probably. I, I make I mean, it nice. I do you get nice noise complaints, Munchie, tiny. at all? Uh, n- well, n- no. What, there was one time where someone threatened to call the cops just because they thought that I was literally dying. Okay. <laughs> uh, see, you better stop it, dying, or I'm gonna call the cops. How is that a threat? I don't. <laughs> well, well, you know, 
You, you know how it is. Oh, uh, you never want the cops involved because they've got guns. They will yeah. kill you with the slaves. Just stop all your health problems. Munchie's not quite white enough to be safe from that shit. The so. thing about yeah. my neighbors is that I'm fairly certain literally every single one is a drug dealer. I'm fairly mm. certain mm. about this. Well, okay. uh, they're all they're all up at weird hours of the night, and uh, like the, the way my apartment's set up, there's like a window to my left here, and I can see into like a house that's next to the apartment complex, and that person always mows their lawn at exactly well around 3 a.m. and also they look what like the they're, fuck? they're like How stumbling they get away over. With that? Yeah, that's literally dark out. You cannot see what you're doing. Yeah. Uh. Yes, I know. <laughs> Not to mention <laughs> literally waking up everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's. that's I guess that's why Munchie doesn't get complaints because he does, he just blends right in. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. very true. That's and I, I know I've talked weird about as shitty. That's like the most like it, it would literally have to be entirely full of psychopaths for this to be able to happen. Like yeah. I live, yeah, for not that, one person in is. the apartment to put a stop to it. That would mm -hmm. be insanity. I live, I live in an apartment where, like, uh, like the the it's it's like this. Like, if I pay my rent on time, I'm like an exemplary uh, tenant. I'm like I'm like way ahead of the curve here. So, like, uh, when I get noise complaints, what they usually amount to, it's not like they talk to the manager or anything. I just get an intense pounding on one of my walls, and then I know it's time to be quiet. For the there are I've shitloads of studies that show that like living in an apartment basically like deprives you of like humanity and dignity. Like, studies show That's that, like, true. people who live in apartments are 72% more gullible. Gullible? gullible. What, are you, what are you trying to say about me, dude? Well, I grew up in a house, so I'm bringing class to this joint. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Were you trying to, like, hit us with a fake stat, and that was the joke, is that it's gullible? Yeah, it's one of those gullibility <laughs> jokes. Uh, well, I fell well, for it. Well, I, I, I didn't it fall for it. House Shit. boy, baby. Only Munchie fell for it. Only yeah, the low uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I looked up on the ceiling, and it said, you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus uh, okay, let's talk about this. Who aspires to be a homeless vagabond? Me. Uh, oh, no. oh me. Sweet. me. You know, I, I personally was always see see having grown up in a house and having only known people that lived in houses. You know, like a bunch of cucks. Uh, I always just I always just assumed it was the thing that you do, you know, like going to college. Like, of course, it's just the thing that you do. But like going to college, later on in life, I like I came I I saw what it's like. I saw what apartments are like, and I think I always was like, wow, why does anyone fucking bother with a house? Like, it seems like such a hassle when you can just pay some money and live in a place. And not have to buy it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's like that I classic. Uh, when, I, that, when, I, that, when, I, when I understood, when I understood that I could just go out and just like get an apartment, I just I, I thought it was nice, and I was like, I'd be fine with this. I'd be I would be okay with this. Well, you know? the funny thing about it is, I think that the the uh, attachment to houses and everything is very much a good old American dream thing. Like it's yeah. it's very much mm -hmm. our yeah. our our fathers and their fathers generations desire to like own their own land and be I like mean, oh I am my own man with my own land and I can do whatever I want and I build this super beautiful house but then the funny thing is they all follow like the same blueprint of what they want it to be like the idea is oh I get my own place I do whatever I want with and then you just make it look exactly like any other house that you saw in a fucking catalog the, the or on of, HGTV I mean I mean outside, ultimately maybe. ultimately like home ownership like it is like a better deal in the long run so like i get that's what i was yeah, so say. so like i guess ideally no you don't want to live in an apartment forever you like you, like if you buy a house like you save more money in the long run but like if if it would be like if all else being equal like i don't mind the idea of living in an apartment i think it's i well, think it's me, fine let me let me sell you on this right now, because my the I don't really care about living in an apartment right now. Economically, it, it, it is fine with me to live in an apartment. Um, but like the recording thing is an issue and I, yeah. I need a place mm -hmm. to build a studio where I can record at any time I want to. And I know exactly what I'm going to get. There will be no disturbances. I, I need that. So like you, if you could like live in an apartment and like rent a studio, that's fine. But then you're just renting two things. Right. So like, yeah. uh, like Ben was saying, if you can get yourself a house and get yourself the exact kind of setup you want, uh, with with just what you need there and nothing extra. You're not wasting your money on a billion dollar mansion or something. Just something with the essentials. That to me seems like really good. Plus the fact that you have your own space. <clears throat> if you can get a little distance away from other people, that seems nice. Yeah. But I just want the ability to do shit in my own place and not have to be concerned that I'm bothering other people. Like right. throw a party yeah. with a lawn or something. You know, just that you know, seems like a nice thing to do sometimes. I want to talk about that all American 
in parentheses, dad dream of having a house, having your own land and stuff, is that statistically speaking, there's going to be a conflict of interest within yourself regarding uh, time management. Because if you're that kind of guy, you're probably also a guy who works a lot, a guy who wants to make lots of money, right? Yeah. Uh, and in the case of my dad, right, he's really proud of this house that he's gotten for his family. He put a lot of work into obtaining the house. But he scarcely puts the amount of time that he knows he needs to put in to maintain the house to keep it yeah. even slightly livable because he's always working all the time. My mom is always is bu- busy doing things, barely has time for anything, and mm-hmm. I'm the same way. Like, I don't really like doing anything other than just focus on one single very specific goal that, of what is my job that makes me money, and I wish just everything else in my life just cleaned and fixed itself. It's, it's, so it's like, it's like, like, it's like ben, they say, you, you like got to – what? Did you just like put a fan next to your microphone or something? Like, well, there's been a fan on. Oh, it just suddenly got really loud. Oh, how come Ben gets okay, to have well, a fan finish. on and I fucking don't? Even though I need it more than he does because I live in California. I, I'm, ben lives in Atlanta. I'm, it's pretty. I'm, it's, pretty it's it's real hot here. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm gonna noise filter all of it out in the final recording. Mm. Okay, Ben. What were you were quoting something? What was the saying? <laughs> say oh, that. I was just gonna say it's like. Well, now it's not funny. I was gonna. I was gonna humorously subvert a common <laughs> uh, a common cliche and say, you know what they say: get busy working or get busy dying. Uh, but now the, yeah. the the timing is off, and uh, Sorry, I would have been would have been really would have been legendary. Would have been legendary. <laughs> yeah. Um, would have been. Anyways, fun. yeah. With, with with what Devu was saying, my dad is a big time house guy. He's uh, you know, we've. Owned several houses, never like paid one off all the way or anything. But the house I the house I'd been living in up until just recently was uh, a fucking gigantic house where we had Radcon. We'd been in there for nine years. My parents have done countless fucking things to it, and they never stopped tinkering with it. And like right. my dad, his basically the way he lives is like he he works on weekdays. And then comes home and he doesn't do anything to the house. But on all of his weekends, it's just like obsessive house maintenance. Like, okay, let me do uh, everything uh, I can to this house. But it's never like it's, he doesn't necessarily have the best priorities when it comes to fixing the house. Because sometimes you got to fix something that's broken. Sometimes you're trying to add something new on, and it's like this constant battle of like you want the new thing, but then the old thing's breaking down, and you just gotta like the house is never perfect. It's been nine years, and the house is still yeah, far it's from perfect. never fucking finished. Every- like like like. When I moved in to this house for the first time a couple years ago, it was like that was when I was full force making videos and stuff. So, like, I was just spending all my time getting home from window cleaning and then working on editing. And it was literally almost a year before I started, like, seriously unpacking 80% of my fucking boxes. Because it's just like, whenever do I want to do these mamby pamby house maintenance things? I never get around to it. I just want to, like, find a maid who I can really trust. You know, that's just Dude, all we really That is exactly the right attitude. Okay, let me let me drop a red pill bomb on this. It's going to oh, offend lots of no. people who give a shit about their houses. Despite the fact that I like the idea of having a house is just like a place you live in. All these people I spent I see on like every day as I'm driving out, it's summertime, everyone's out working on their lawn, they're out doing things, they're out they're out fixing up shit. All these people spending on their time doing that shit, I see as people who have given up on their real dreams. Yeah, yeah. Like they have, oh, they are now agree. filling Absolutely. the hole in their life with maintaining their fucking lawn and designing their house. Why don't you like? Okay, like I spend my time pursuing like a second career full time. That's how I spend all of my life. Yeah. yeah. And when I just think about like how much time guys like, and this is this is my dad. I love my dad. He's the best man in the world. But when I think about all the fucking time he's devoted to caring for his goddamn lawn, I'm sure he really <laughs> yeah. cares about it. But for fuck's sake, you could have literally built, like, he wants to do be, like, a car sale, or not a car salesman. He was thinking about, during his life, starting a car dealership. I'm like, think about all the time you could have devoted into, like, the yeah. side dream you have had. You could have done that if you hadn't just worked on your fucking lawn so much. We need to consolidate work. We need to have specialists who go around entire towns they're the ones in charge of maintaining the lawn they're most efficient at it they're the yeah. best at it you tell them what you want and we stop this shit about people maintaining their own lawns it's a waste yeah, of time the, the, makes the, me the mad. whole the whole the whole time sink aspect of it was like it's yeah. always like that's part of why i never was that was like oh an apartment doesn't sound so bad because a house a house carries with it all this maintenance shit and especially yeah. lawn shit like mm-hmm. if i ever did own a house i would wa- i would really be a big deal to me that there would be no lawn like, you guys know I'm the sure whole self-help, self, uh, uh, book for success tip of uh, 
you are a bucket full of rocks, and you can fill yourself up with big rocks and small rocks. Yeah, Do you guys I've all know that. this metaphor? No, I've, I've uh, never. I actually don't, don't know it. Um, basically, mm-hmm. the idea is you're a bucket, right? Everyone's a bucket. Say it right now. I am a bucket. I am a I'm bucket. A bucket. I am a bucket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you can fill yourself up with fucking rocks, right? And big rocks are your dreams. As you know, wanting to start a family, wanting to become a businessman, mm-hmm. wanting to become a billionaire, trillionaire, whatever. Then small rocks are things like maintaining your lawn or things like making sure like you're perfectly fucking shaved every day or things like talking to each of your friends every day right yeah and the thing about rocks the thing about like fucking physics and shit is that if you put all the small rocks in first there is barely enough room for big rocks but if you put all the big rocks in first the little tiny ass pebbles just find their way around the little yeah. pebbles bounce in and out of the big rocks and there's ends up being enough room for everything if you put the big rocks in first yeah and i remember my I dad giving me this lecture mm-hmm. and he very much prioritizes his time like this like he this is a man who was never able to get into video games no matter how much they casualize themselves the whole facebook we generations came and went and he was like i can't justify uh i can't find a video game that i can enjoy spending time with my family whilst playing so i'm not playing video games right that's the only thing my dad will do anything that either promotes his business or helps his family are the only two things he can justify doing with his life and i feel similarly and uh, you know that yeah. that makes a lot of sense and and i think that what i was going to say you know after that point is that i do understand that guys like my dad as well uh, like he clearly has his priorities straight and for him like doing the lawn stuff is i think a form of like relaxation it's what he does when he's not you know worried about his business yeah. or paying the bills and stuff so like i get it but i still see that as wasted time and i yeah. don't care for, I yeah, for me that's you. washing dishes working in the kitchen that's my relaxation time sure. this is a like. this is this is a coming at a good time i just got my first place um, right. and i've kind of found the perfect middle ground that does all, Nate, this is what you need. You need mm-hmm. a townhouse mm-hmm. because it is the perfect interstice of everything you're talking about. Okay, so I was really worried okay. when getting a place. Like, I was worried that uh, an apartment would have the problem yours has of noise complaints. I work all night mm-hmm. into the dead of night. I do podcasts. I do raps. I, I'm loud, you know, and need to have space where, like, people aren't going to give me noise complaints constantly. Mm-hmm. A place like yours, I would not be able to do it. But, um... Staying in some of the other apartments that I uh, that I guessed it in, uh, we got away with a little bit more loudness because they were just a little bit more open or had thicker walls and stuff, like just better apartments. And it made me realize, okay, it's not like I need to be an entire yard away from, you know, someone else. I just need one that's like has a center of the house, whereas yours <laughs> doesn't really have anywhere that's not surrounded. Um, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so... A townhouse, you have nobody above and below you, so that's taken care of. You've only got people on your sides. The way that mine is organized, they're not quite exactly directly next to each other on one side. So, like, I've got my office Mm -hmm. set up, and it's a split. So there's an upstairs and a downstairs. um, And, like, the, the just... The way it's organized is perfect. Like, it's just big enough that I can do my recording in here. There's space for multiple people, but it's small enough that you can take care of it all really easily. Like, you know, right, cleaning okay. the whole house takes less than an hour because it's so fucking tiny. And and I mean, like, deep cleaning it would, would take no time at all. But here's the best part. I've got a lawn, a front yard, and a backyard, and the townhouse takes care of it. Like, yeah, right. because that's it's it right it's all one giant yard that we all share. So, like, while there is a little chunk of it that's like, this is my yard, you know, it's all just one big shared yard. And they just have yard maintenance people go around, like, every couple of days. And, you know, they even fucking mulch the shit. Like, they do, they completely maintain the yards, like, front and back. It's pristine at all times, and I never have to touch it. And that's so fucking important to me for exactly the reason you're describing. Like, I maximize mm-hmm. all my time. If I'm... This past week has just sailed by for me because all of my time has either been spent making videos or fucking my girlfriend. And those are the only two things that I want to be doing. I don't want to have to stop doing either of those to go fucking clean the yard you know, for an I, hour, I realize you know? I realize the real difference here between uh, these these guys like our dads and ourselves and it's that you know at, at least in their later part of their lives when we knew them when they're like established yeah. and they're all that shit like they're now thinking of like they they do have time in their lives when they yeah. choose to just not really do work you know like they have already yeah. put in the work they have now made it they've got a giant house or you know they've got a house they've got a family it's time to relax a little bit the, the, the hustle has been done yeah and don't it's get it wrong I, I totally want want that life like i want yeah. to get to a point where i don't feel this I constant don't. pressure I don't to, to fucking 
make videos at literally all times. But all I want, I don't want to, I don't want to free that time up so I can mow the lawn. I want to free that time up so I can play just, a video game. That's I'm just all saying, I want. All for I me, want. My, for me, my I big never... dream right now is that I can play a video game ever. <laughs> that is my big yeah. fucking dream. I, I never, I never want to get to that point because for me, life is struggle, and when the struggle is yeah, over, you might as well die. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, but there, I suppose there's a degree. And well, I sure. feel like I want to have relaxation periods just because I see people what? who burn themselves out. Even if they have energy, they eventually like become hacks because they just they they became artists every day, twenty four hours a day, to the point that they lost their humanity and forgot. Which is why my plan, after I finish my freaking video game, is to then move to Atlanta and then be a a friend guy who goes out with friends. Yeah. And then like take uh, a couple yes. months yeah, off. Ben, ben, uh, I, I remember friends. To be- Ben, I refuse to believe <laughs> that you don't spend any time just like playing a video game for no. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not saying there's no re- need for leisure ever, but I, but I never want to hit a point where I'm like, I'm done with work. I'll never. I don't. I don't want. I won't pursue anything else. It's time to just relax. It's time to just. Yeah. It's time to not, just no. take the rest of my life easy. Oh, well, I think like, like a lot of it is. Florida, Florida, I mean, I mean this on more of a day by Jesus. day basis. Like, yeah, what I admire yeah. is the ability to like, okay, I worked for eight hours and now I get to play video oh. games and not work. Well, like, that's God. not how I've been living. I've been living right. a twenty-four hour work cycle for the Absolutely. last year. You yeah. Know? So the people I admire most are those Digi, who minimize Digi, that kind Digi, of time. Digi though. fucking your girlfriend doesn't count as work. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Yeah. No, that's my that's escape. Well, I, d- that's ben, my, well, I think that's my first escape from work. Right. Well, because for me, it's all about, like, if I'm not doing work, then there's – the moment I walk away from the computer, there is a timer I hear in my head that goes off. Yeah, Maybe even exactly. with the fucking Metroid sound. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> and so, like, I haven't shut that thing off for five fucking years. Yeah. Like, ever and since I was like, 18 and a half and I finally got a good work ethic, I haven't stopped yet. I know I'm going to have to force myself to take a break at some point to renew that passion because I know it's going to run out at some right. point. <sighs> Excuse me. God damn. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, should we talk about our, our ideal house? Because I don't think... Are any of us in, like, the best Fuck yes. house? Oh, okay. No, definitely well, not. But I'm pretty close. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. My my ideal house... And it is a house. Or, mm. you know, townhouse, I guess. Whatever. Uh, like, one room. I hate big houses. I would never, ever want to I be in a big houses. house. Ever. Well, I fucking hate them. They're worth what kind of big house? Why, why Munch? Hang on, this is Munch's time. Why Munch? This is Munch's why? time. It is because, Munch's time. Because, because I'm a little boy, and I want to be in a little house. I don't, <laughs> I don't need to have, I don't it, need to have some Nigga, you are rooms. six and a half feet tall. You ain't no little boy. I'm a boy. little boy! <laughs> in this in this future world, You're do you live alone, boy. or are Munchy, there other Munchy, people Munchy is the you? Munchy is the littlest boy I know, you piece of shit. No, Munchy is the babiest boy I know, but he ain't the littlest boy I know. He's okay, a big baby. Are you boy. alone in this place? Do you live alone in this place? Uh, in this well, okay. <laughs> Ideally, I would want to, I would want or to home. be with two people. But we like like each of our like I, like my section would be the small section because I want okay. to, my my ideal is just my room, then a bathroom, and then a kitchen. Maybe no, that's it. That's it. That's all I want. I don't want anything else. I just want people to walk up, walk maybe three feet, and be at my refrigerator. I don't want to like do anything. I want to live the fucking five, three thousand pound man life. Have all my characters <laughs> do everything for me. Uh, but no, no, like because because I Did just. Did you say your characters wa- or your caretakers? A uh, caretaker. My characters. The Undertaler five eight seven is gonna win. <laughs> yeah. <every single> day. <laughs> in, gonna, in, gonna... this, in this in this fantasy world, I'm constructing for results. Yeah, I live in a house, and my OCs just take care of me, and they are my friends. <laughs> and, uh... and you're you're in you're in your room, and you hear a knock on the door. And you're like, who is it? And you're like, it is me, <laughs> the <laughs> Japanese. <Hello>. Today's anime <laughs> is breakfast <laughs> in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, Christ. he's a wonderful Thank Mandalorian. You. Have we struggled? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh I, I, okay. This this stems from me living upstairs, and every single day I oh, walk no. downstairs, I get something, then I walk back upstairs, and I realize. I forgot my fucking phone downstairs. Yeah. Oh. No. No. <laughs> So I have to walk what back do down do? upstairs. I, I have to walk downstairs and I have to walk back upstairs again. And that's like that's like thirty <laughs> seconds wasted where I could have been getting a sick fucking frag in Quake Live, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get that fucking game of prestige. <laughs> I hear you, that, my you, dude. Do you relate to like not even wanting to be seen at all? Like when you're walking through, like sometimes oh, I'll take oh, the long totally. way into the kitchen. Oh. Yeah. 
That, that, well, that, well that when I was like, younger that, and more stressed thing. out, like, yeah. That, that, that's For a new thing. I, I did, well, I did, mm-hmm. I did, uh, during the most shameful time of my life, that's not even true, but during one of the most shameful, <laughs> one of the most shameful times of my life, I was doing, I was doing the classic, classic hikikomori technique of, uh, pee bottles. Pissing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, man! Yeah. Yeah. And, and, but, the, but, the re- but the reason why was fear of being seen by the people that I lived with. <laughs> I just... Oh, that... Because that that's when you were in California, right? No, not in California. It was when I, I was in I was in Somerville, um, but mm. I was it was when I was in that place that was like it had gotten con- oh, it had gotten right. con- like the the lease had been terminated and the landlord had been like get out and we had challenged the landlord and been like you can't just kick us out like and so we took it to court so during the six months it was in court nobody was hmm. paying rent and we just squatted there uh, and it, it was le- it was legendary <laughs> but the point is that and like, you were ashamed of being seen by them well they were kind of a bunch of I didn't you know assholes some, who won't pay rent n- some of them were a little terrible and i would try to avoid them mm. so yes for, I see. So for a while like... i was just like i'm just gonna keep my head down and pee in bottles in my room and ben, the rest yeah, and, gotta, and let god sort the rest out i i need to make this point <laughs> this is very important and it occurred to me because i just went to take a piss if you if this this goes to everyone in the ch- in this call and elsewhere i'm just letting you know if you live in a situation where you have to put on pants to go to the bathroom you're living your fucking life wrong all right. I know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This yeah. is your. This is everyone needs to be your life goal, and I'll tell you why. Because for the longest time, I had, you know, when I was living in my parents' house, that that whole nine years, I had my own room that had its own bathroom, so I never had to worry about this. Like it basically was like I was living in my own apartment. But yep. when I came back to my parents' house for a week, when they had moved back in and they'd given shade my old room, and it was me and my girlfriend who were who was staying at my house for a week. And we have to leave the room to go to the bathroom. So, of course, we're naked constantly in my room, and we have to put on clothes every Digi, single time we want to go I'm to the bathroom. I'm telling you right bathroom. now, Digi, this, this is not going to become the Digi's Girlfriend podcast. I'm, this Stop. is extremely just, just important, Nate, now. to the Lower fucking it. point, yeah, Nate, you motherfucker. Fuck you weird fucking... anti-girlfriend fucking... You're like an anti no. Thank, no. for girlfriend. thank you, Digi. Oh, thank no, you for finally... Thank you for fucking the, right. saying it. Somebody God had to say it. it. No. It's extremely important I, I, to the point about homes because the whole reason I got a place is to live with my girlfriend yeah, and it was Nate, so it's pretty shit. fucking related it was so and, yeah shit and he goes on about on oh clothes. we're naked all the time let's hear because, more about Nate, that that's what everyone be- wants to hear yeah I'm not fucking bragging about it Nate it's just the way you that the situation is that you have to put on your clothes to go to the bathroom that is fucking bullshit if you're covered in fucking sex funk and you want to wash yourself off yeah. you got to put on all there your goes, clothes folks. There just he to goes. go to the fucking bathroom because you're fucking parents are right down the hall and you don't want them to see you naked or smell you or have anything to do with you when you were just fucking so you gotta walk to the bathroom it's a fucking nightmare having your own place nobody has to wear clothes ever it's fucking perfect and i'm telling you yeah, this is cool. how thank you should you, be living you. your life thank you thank you for that, that 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 delightful story that i deeply appreciate and i'm glad you told well, in its entirety the the problem is it's fundamentally wrong because i literally prefer wearing clothes yeah. than not oh, wearing that's clothes bad. Nate, so, okay okay i have kind of pointed that uh, i would uh-huh. rather die than not be wearing clothes yeah, I you're gonna talk about, Nate, Nate, you go. Nate, if you're going to talk about fucking humble bragging do you realize that you're basically like part of the hashtag #proud and happy with my body club right here like maybe you should like check your fucking fucking well, physicality here, privileges. God I damn don't it. understand what you're saying. I don't you, understand. Actually, point. wait, that's the opposite logic. Fuck! Yeah, I got my yeah. logic back. Yeah, no, I, I, no, don't get me wrong. I I like wearing clothes too, but I I, I like don't. wearing I like wearing underwear. I'm not a fan of wearing pants. Oh, but the, yeah, okay. the problem is dude, not. Dude, wait, 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 digi, digi. Dude, I wear, wear shorts. shorts They're comfy and easy to wear. Yeah, I, do. I wear Woo, shorts at home yeah, all the time. Boop, but the problem is not like. The problem isn't, like, the wearing of the clothes. It's having to put clothes on just to go to the bathroom and then take them yeah. back off when you get back to your room. Like, oh, it's man, just dude, having like, to go through an extra process to do something. Oh, that, man. Like, one, one time when I was, like, 16, my family finally moved out of a house that only had one bathroom between the five of us to finally having, like, oh. three bathrooms. And, like, I was basically the only one that used this bathroom because I was the only one that stayed in my room, right? My brother right. had the same bathroom, but he was almost never there. So, basically, I had a bathroom all to myself where no one would ever be able to hear me. No one would see me up here <laughs> 
years. I was the only one up here. And just mm-hmm. my bladder and bowels shrank drastically yes. over the next year because I finally wasn't holding it in like all the fucking time, right? Like, <laughs> oh dude, my God. Vu, like, you and Ben. Imagine I what don't... the diaper lifestyle would do to that. I yeah. Know. <laughs> no imagining I, needed, brother. I have no idea how Devu, Ben, and Victor managed to share that middle bathroom in the house. For Very that carefully. Oh, I um, I think I may have mentioned this. I had, in the I had to hold podcast, my poop in on multiple occasions. That would have uh, been fucking insane. I just had my toothbrush and all my toiletries in my bedroom closet because I knew that like I don't want other people's poop particles flying all over the place. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want that. So I, yeah, I had all my life. whenever I needed something, I would take it from the closet. <laughs> I would take I have, it from the closet. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. I legit have never, like, I never appreciated how much I wanted my own place until I was forced out of that room. Like, like yeah. again, the room I was in might as well have been an apartment. Like, I only had to come downstairs to go to the kitchen or to leave the house, and everyone else was so far away, it really felt like I was on my own. Being put into the middle of the house for just one week was, like, abject horror for me like i yeah. hated it it was so bad because you could hear people talking all over the house like it's i can't record like if i hear someone talking in the distance you know like if i'm worried that Agreed. they're gonna come in here and interrupt my recording or something like it just stuff like that drives me insane i really need like a lot of space or for the people yeah. in that space to understand what i'm doing you know mm-hmm. like I, I hate the idea of I'm at home, so my mom doesn't know I'm recording, or she doesn't know how long the recording lasts. So she comes, "Oh, Conrad, what is going? On? God damn it, I'm in the middle yeah. of some shit." You know, you know? the whole, the whole like mark. living with family, all the fucking like you know stress of living with family stuff. I think I found a cheat for it, which is that if you move away from your family's house easily, and you could still afford to do so, but of your own volition, through financially good ideas, you realize and decide to just move back in your family's house temporarily, all that stress magically isn't there. At least that was the case with me, because I moved back in with my family. I, like, like, like the, the room I'm living in now uh, is not the room I was living in before, because I used to live up in a house that was uh, up in another room that was basically an apartment, just like Digi's room, but now I'm living in a room that's just across the hallway from where my parents live, and for some reason, the fact that I felt like I was doing this out of my own volition with all this agency made me not get stressed out about it. You know, it used to be if I'm down in the kitchen and anyone else is in the kitchen, I I have this fucking death glare at them of like, uh, I don't want to be in the kitchen at the same time as someone else. But now it's like, man, you know, I reach for a spoon at the same time you reach for a fork and we have to make a slight grunt at one another because we're in the same general place. I don't want to kill myself now. Hey, you wow, know, I, I'm, really just, cool. I'm like, just going to say, if you ever live in a situation where you're afraid of encountering the people you live with, I think that you have a problem that needs to be sorted out i don't know exactly well, what it is it's going yeah, to depend don't on the worry situation. there's other there's other defense mechanisms like you know for example the <laughs> the absolutely dreaded what are you looking for you know when you're like going through the shelves sure. looking for a thing and you're and you're just like my mom's gonna say what are you looking for i don't want her to know and, what i'm looking for it doesn't literally fair, matter at all I, I just don't want her to know and so you know what i would do to deflect that I i'd be like every <laughs> every shelf i open i'm gonna be like oh sweet that shelf is exactly what i want Ooh, this shelf has what i want too so that no one thinks i'm looking for anything i'm just like constantly happy when i'm looking around the shelf like, oh uh, sweet I'm totally with you. I'm, I'm totally with you on that. I, I hate when people get involved in my business when I don't want them to be, which is great because I've been living on my own for, for a couple of years now, and it's great. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, like, the, the time in my life uh, when I was I, – I did this for a while, too. Uh, after, you know, I, I left college and was living at home and was just doing shitty jobs, and I think it might have been even before I started doing youtube stuff, um, like, I was – like, I was paying rent to my parents, but, like, they would always be on me to, like, be working harder to, like, finish my degree. Just, just you know, like, go do the things that you obviously need to be doing that I would do to some hmm. small degree, but not nearly enough. So, like, all the time, this is a big pattern for me throughout my life. When there are people that I need to do things for and I'm not, like, living up to the obligations I've made to them, I will just avoid them, which is a common yeah. thing that all people do. So, like, for me, this was completely, like, I would avoid contact with my parents as much as physically possible to the point of never ever seeing them and never leaving my room mm. yeah just the hickey life obviously uh, uh yeah. but it was entirely because i was not doing the things that i needed to do it was entirely my yeah, fault in this that case... i was making the situation shitty and i'm just saying that like i see a lot of that on other people like if there's something you're trying to avoid by not seeing people generally you're going to be better off well, I'll explain. Nah, the, I've the reason why the reason things. why I was okay, peeing okay. the reason why I was peeing in bottles is because the people that I lived with at the time, well, there were there was ben, it was a ben. bit of a, it was a bit of a rogues gallery. But one of them was like super OCD, and if and if he happened to catch a glimpse of you, uh, well, no, not OCD. It's he was uh, 
Bipolar. He was bipolar. And if he happened to catch a glimpse of you while you were walking through the room, while he was in a manic episode, he would rope you into some complete fucking nonsense. Like, there were multiple occasions where I would just be walking through, and he'd be like, uh, Ben, uh, can you help me? Uh, like, we we need to move this furniture. Like, we need to rearrange this furniture. Like, he can't stay like this. Oh, Ben, have I met this guy? No, no, you have not met this guy. Okay, uh, but he was. Ben, listen, listen. No, no, no. Done. I just want to say, and then he would, and then, okay. and then we would move furniture for like two hours, and he would, like, yeah, we need to move this couch upstairs, and then, and then two oh weeks later, he would, he would catch you again, and he'd be like, okay, we got to move furniture again, and then we would move it like back, and like, okay, that's and so that was like, I just yeah. wanted to avoid that so much. The, I, I'm with you on that, Ben. But really, that's a surface level issue. The deeper problem is you had put yourself in a situation where you were living Nate, with a bunch of degenerates Nate, who were willing to do this kind of squatting, weird, not Nate, leaving when they're yeah, not wanted Nate, of, situation. Of course, that's Nate, of course it had problems, but you know what? It was fucking worth it to live rent free. So fuck yeah, you. Yeah, all right, okay. Yeah. If, if it was worth it, I, it was. Then, it was, so it was the right thing to do, and uh, you'll never convince me <laughs> otherwise. Yeah, I, I've okay. pretty much been doing my best for many a, a number of years now. When I moved back in with my family. Uh, really what my parents could have been doing was flying to, to wherever Digi was and be like, hey, when are you going to write him a video so he can edit it? <laughs> you know what That's this what really is? It's if you, can, if you can look in the mirror at the end of the day and you see and you look in your own eyes and you see I am doing everything in my power to fulfill my obligations to the people in my life. If you can do that without wincing, without shying away, then you shouldn't be afraid um, of looking anyone or facing anybody. Nah, in your life. I, don't, I don't fulfill the obligations to other people in my life, but I make it very clear there to you them. Go. Well, all right then. As long as people know, it's like if you're hi- if you're like lying or hiding things from people, that's that was me. That's what I was. Should have doing. a lying was, podcast. Yeah. I'm very pro lying. Ooh, lying? That's a I'm good idea. Mm, yeah. Oh my fucking hey. yeah! I could be. Uh, uh, hey, okay. Yes. Let's completely shift gears and talk about what are we gonna do to end homelessness if we're Whoa, going. No, to. hold on. Wait, what, wait, how are we gonna wait, solve wait, that? Literally, issue? only Shit. Munchie has shared his dream home so far. Well, wait, yeah, I don't give wait, a fuck I, about I, that. And I want to go again. This is the Munchie podcast now. <laughs> just, <laughs> no, just, it's not. Just, just, it's just, just quickly, just fucking quickly. Uh, okay. All these people talking about, I don't want to talk to people. Okay, I've never been like that, except for recently, because my uncle, I'm sure ma- many of you have heard murmurs and rumors and stumbles and mumbles about my uncle. Uncle just, Alex, right. He, here, here's the red pill. Here's the quick explanation. He <laughs> is 55 years old, and he loves Paul on 4chan. Sick. Dude. Yes. Whoa, so goes shit. on Paul. <laughs> He goes on poll every single day of his life, and he's always making uh, threads. Is he is he Barack Obama's half brother by any chance? Probably, probably. Okay. He's just not black enough. He's still black, uh-huh. but just not enough. Anyway, <laughs> he every time I walk past him, he's on his iPad, fucking just checking like upvoting of four chan images, which I'm assuming <laughs> is a thing. He's buying that that four chan gold status. So of course, yeah, yeah, the gold pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every, every, every single he's, day, he's buying more 4chan gold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and then when I walk past him, he's like, hey, dude, you see this fucking Pepe image? Check this shit out, bro. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Damn. It's pretty nice. It's pretty <laughs> yeah, good, it's a dude. pretty rare Pepe. Yeah. Please, please just let me please just let me get my fucking drink. Nah, bro, dude, check this shit fucking out. You see what Trump's doing? He's going to fix the fucking moon, bro. He's going to fix it. Global Whoa. warming's going to be God, what? bro. What? Fix the moon? What? Yeah, he's gonna fix the moon. Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, yeah. He's gonna make the moon great again. He's gonna take all the excess yeah. heat from the car, from the greenhouse gases on Earth, and put it on the moon to make the moon nice oh, and warm. Oh shit! And we can then uh, start agriculture on the, on moon. the moon. Of course, we recycle exactly. everything. This makes a lot of sense. Exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, Precisely. So, ba- so basically, my, my, <laughs> my uncle is completely incoherent, and whenever I walk past him, he always try to rope me into a red pill conversation about uh, okay. Trump okay. or Pepe or uh, any sort nice. of 4chan dub memes. And uh, <laughs> I want to avoid that as much as possible, so I just stay up in my room and wait for him to leave. Oh, and the reason he's always over at my house now is because his life is falling apart because he goes on pull too much. Yeah. Well, Sounds when right. you it sucks when you're like young and you still live with your parents and you like don't have a job to afford mm-hmm. your own place yet, mm-hmm. which I was like till pretty recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there's just nothing you can do. You got to deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my dream home is to uh, to to basically recreate Owl Farm, which is the place that Hunter S. Thompson lived. Hunter S. Thompson lived on his own like 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 acre of land up in the the hills of Aspen, Colorado, and he had like this like relatively small house. I would probably put a bigger house there because I'm obsessed with living in a labyrinth. That's also yeah. my dream house is to live in a labyrinth, but. But uh, but he has this giant yard, and he would just have shitloads of guns, and he was just always firing guns on his property, and, like, fucking, he had, like, a whole shooting range, and he was just fucking around. He had peacocks everywhere, like, just, 
roaming, and he would get into gunfights with his neighbors and shit. Like, they'd just shoot at each other's property, f- like, when they were mad at each other. And, and, like, it's basically a libertarian utopia, and that's what I want to live in. I just want to have... Said- a, I just want to have space to do literally any batshit crazy stuff I want to do. Dude, dude, I, you dude. said Owl Farm, right? Owl yeah, Farm? it's called Owl Insta- Farm. Instead of any of the shit you just described, I'm just picturing Drake from Hotline Bling with his uh, owl sweatshirt. Just like that place is Owl Farm to me. That's Did you? So you, you described it as like a libertarian <laughs> utopia. Imagine if it was like on a very specific mountain where like the Colorado Capitol building was like within view with a telescope. So you would have a telescope <laughs> to see the tiny government. I mean, he. Uh, uh, yeah. I, that may have actually been the case because I think he was pretty close to the sheriff's office, which he also Sweet. ran for sheriff. Um, oh. Awesome. Of Aspen, but yeah. Um, yeah, his, his just seeing, there's videos of like his property out there. In fact, there's a video of Conan O'Brien going there and like hanging out on his shooting oh, range that. and firing shitloads of guns. And he, he has mm-hmm. like a bar set up at the shooting range. This is a man <laughs> who literally has a, a giant stash of alcohol next to his giant stash of guns. And he can just perfect. do that, you know, and shoot. It's Colorado, man. You yeah, can do whatever. I don't give a single fuck. He's already attained greatness. It's time to enjoy it, I guess. Who yeah. gives a fuck anymore? Yeah. yeah, well, anyway, my dream house really is just a labyrinth, but I guess I can be more specific. I don't need the guns and shit. I don't need it to be like a farm, but I do like the labyrinthine idea. Uh, right. I can get more specific. I want it to be in the woods. You know, I want it to be far away. I don't need it to be in the mountains because generally that's a lot more expensive. I'm I'm fine with flatland. I don't mind flatland, uh, but I do like trees. So you have that. Um, I don't know. Like there just be a lot of specific ways to make it labyrinthine. I want a lot of basement shit. I'd like one um somewhere like you kind of go into a mountain and then you come out the other side and there's another door over there. That'd be pretty cool. And especially the best thing to have a labyrinth for is to have like this own little sectioned off area that a teenage uh, offspring could live in without having to get, you know, that way it would really facilitate mm. when they're going through their phase of not wanting to be near their parents and yeah. shit. You can make that really easy for them. They'll, you'll never have to see them, right? That's what I would love to uh, facilitate to my uh, progeny. Yeah. yeah. That's basically it. Excellent. Um, I guess here's where I want to live. Uh, this is, it, it forces me to consider like what I want my life to be like as well. So basically, it would be it would be a house by itself, similar On to like Mars. the one I grew up in. <laughs> yeah, the center of the earth. Uh, <laughs> uh, it'd just be on like I don't know, like some pretty quiet street, fairly far away from another house, but probably like within I don't oh, know. Nate, like it could be like fifty feet away. This reminded me like, an important point that even okay. though I want this like this labyrinth on this like acre of land, I want it to mm-hmm. be immediately surrounded by like nothing but stores. Like, yeah, I don't, Express I don't want it and... to be in the middle of nowhere. Like, I want it to mm-hmm. be, like, right in the heart of a city. Like, it's a public yeah. park that I've built a That's, house. Yeah. 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 It's not going to get away with say, the gun thing. Man. I was going to yeah. say my ideal house would be just, like, it would be just, like, a dungeon. It would be just, like, or, or, it would be just, like, a, <laughs> like a single, like, dungeon room. Like, a spacious dungeon room at the top of, like, a stone spire. Uh, and it would be yeah. totally ice, but it would be, but it would be a tall stone spire that you had to climb some like spiral staircases to some st- spirals, like like hours and hours of climbing a spiral staircase to get up to. But it would be right in the middle of a metropolitan city, so that I could just like look down uh, and observe. Yeah. So I'd be, I'd be, so I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be isolated from it. I'd be isolated from all that hullabaloo, but I could see uh-huh. it. And if I wanted to, I could put it. I could maybe go and get down mm. there if, if, you know, like, if, you- if the mood struck me. You might be interested in the house that I'm currently living in, my, my, my family's house, because it's like, you've seen it in my in some of my videos, it's 10 acres of land, uh, you can do whatever here, but it's like near the highway, and it's like 6 minutes away from a Walmart, Not and a quick enough. trip. Not good okay, enough. Okay, there you go. I want well, like, to well, literally, six... like, like, if I leave my property, then there is a store. Like, that's what mm. I want it to be. Like, like, I am living on the, like, it, like I, I just build a mall around my house, is what I'm saying. Plus, you've got shit internet, so that's, that's that's yeah. And the shit more. internet is definitely the worst part. But there's like good internet, just a little bit out of reach. I think if you could like drop like a five k investment, you could probably get someone to stretch it out. There's also a hospital like four minutes away from here. It's on this. There's this giant fucking no, hospital no, on good, this obscure like, road. I don't okay. necessarily want to live right next to a hospital. Nate, well, dude, Nate, like there's well, what you're saying. God Nate, damn, go. Let Nate finish go. My goddamn point. Okay, so 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 it's it's whatever. It's a fucking suburb, fairly close to the center of a metropolitan area, like like the outside of Boston or something. That would be, be pretty cool. Uh, and and uh, so about the house itself, uh, it would be I don't know, like medium sized, but but the the size is important. 
because I want to have uh, a family. I want to have kids. Two. Two, uh, uh, Vincent and Charlotte, twin perfect godchildren. Uh, the wife doesn't matter. She'll probably be there, but I don't care about her. Just and, stop. Okay, um, I was going to say. Like... And here, here's the important part. Here's the important part. The house can't – okay, so first of all, it's got to have a studio where I can do all my work. That, that's a, that has to happen. It has to be a nice place. But other than that, the house has to be small enough – not as big as the house I grew up in, because that house was too big, and it forced us to be able to stay away from each other. I want to be forced to interact with my family so that they can't avoid me, they can't get mad at me. We will always be forced to communicate with each other, and none of us will ever be <laughs> what you, lonely. What do you mean, though? That's what I want. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. If you're forced I mean, to interact, I mean, they're going to get mad at he you means, way He more means often. they can't, like, storm off to their room and be alone. That's not... Like, Nate, that's fucking not a th- no. Every the best decisions I've ever made in my fucking life was run away to my room instead Devo, of reacting. Devo, you've got you've got your perspective, and here is my perspective. I lived in a big, big house where I was far away from everyone where I wanted to be, and that had negative consequences. And what I'm trying to say is I'd like to find ways to avoid those. And being too isolated from my family made me a lonelier person and has made me the person I am today. Being, and I'd being, like to avoid Nate, that for my kids. Nate, Nate having what? having been in the same fucking family. Let me say. Let <laughs> yeah. me say that being yeah. isolated from. Said Wait, you guys family... are brothers? <laughs> on, oh ben. my Go god! Be, be, I know, what? right? What? Being isolated from said family was just the greatest thing. Was the only res- the yeah. only respite uh, from from well, the terror. Uh, it was, that sure it is was a great be- opinion you guys being, have. Being se- sure being, love your opinion being there. Being separate, uh-huh. being separate was the best part of it. So I, <sighs> I just, well consider this, Ben. Consider the fact that you're two years older than me, and uh, uh, you two are I don't know. brothers. <laughs> everything that that entails and maybe I'm just a lonelier person by nature but nonetheless I don't want that and I want to avoid that that's what a family is literally for so that's what I want it to yeah. serve no no it's Nate. not no it's not Nate, Nate, I, mean, Devo, fair, I don't give a fuck fair enough Nate, 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 Nate's lonely. He has plus attack. But I'm just saying. Defense. I'm just saying. Like exactly. I, like I would, be, I would fucking chafe and get mad if I lived in some place where I was like forced yeah. to interact all the time. Like I, just, I mean, what I would do for my house, like I said before, is there would be this area where you, some teenager could live there all by themselves, but have some other rooms that are right next to each other in case some or all of my kids are like that. You know, I'm sure that pe- I know that people fucking like grind that whole introvert extrovert thing into the ground, but it's fucking true. You can observe it there. Are people who get tired when they're around people and get yeah. energetic when they're alone and vice versa it's just a fucking fact i i literally get tired if i'm around too many if people are in the room it like sucks my life force away and i'm gonna get fucking mad oh, and tired and dead so like uh, yeah you, this, this, you, i'm an i'm an introvert i need people to come up I to fucking me and know, say i, I fucking <laughs> know but it's just yeah. goddamn true all right uh-huh uh, nah, that's fine. Oh, oh yeah, fine. sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I, I got you, Dubu. All right, all right. Let's let's move on to the topic, Dubu. All right, let's move I'm, on. I'm yeah. just telling you. Oh my God, is that best guy ever? When did you get here? <laughs> hey everybody, all right, I'm one best one guy one ever. Shoot. Oh my God. I'm I'm speaking. I'm totally speaking here from a, a purely self-serving uh, perspective. I'm aware of that, and uh, yeah, I don't care. Which which, best which, ever. which one do I shoot? Indeed. This yeah. isn't objective at all. This is purely subjective. But, the, okay, um, this this is a related note. How many of you, when growing up, were allowed to lock your doors? Oh shit! That, we didn't even have. I locks, don't think. So yeah, I don't think we had locks. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. fucked up, right? It fucked me up. Right. I, it's not that fucked. Up. I literally fucked lock up? my door, even though my door, my door, like I'm I'm upstairs. So if anyone wanted to come back, I just no, hear no. The right See, that's that's the anyway. sort of, that's the sort of thing. No child needs to lock their door oh, from their parents. Oh, for fuck's sake! Yes. Yes. There is I nothing. I would. No, I I forgot all about this. I completely forgot just how angry I was every fucking day of my life that I couldn't lock my door. My life would have been so much better if I could have locked my door. It was. <laughs> Honestly, I think it was cruel. I honestly think it was cruel that I was made to live in a room yeah. that had that had no lock. Okay, oh, dude, you know what? The, I'll, I'll give you the the peace of mind that can come from having a lock if you feel exactly. like you really need it. I, you know, I can understand that, but I, I don't really like the idea of living in a house where everyone's got their doors locked all the time. It's just weird. I don't it's fucking just, know, weird. man. If you're having kids, that means you're creating all new human beings who did not fucking choose to be part of this. I understand the idea of a locked door between like a, a romantic relationship of two adult people who like you give decided, children too much credit. But, but, They're but, worthless. They have no but, but children reality. do not did not fuck. This is one of the things that Stefan Molyneux, world's smartest and best yes. guy ever, Thank said God. about is My that uncle. children That's where I got the name. did Jesus. not choose this relationship. And so if they want to fucking lock you out or kill you, they have that fucking right. 
So Stephen Molyneux thinks way too highly of children's intelligence and agency. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, um, but but yeah, like 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 I had an issue with my younger brother because he wanted to just every, one night he decided, hey, David. We have separate rooms now. You know, we've been sleeping in different rooms for a few years now, but what if I just sleep in your room for tonight? It'll be like a fun sleepover. And I was like, sure. Uh-oh. And then the next <laughs> night, he did it again. And then, like, the mm-hmm. two days later, he did it again. And I was like, all right, Aaron, no oh, more sleeping okay. in my bedroom. Okay. Yeah. And then he just kept doing it. And then eventually oh, he, no. he, he knew I was going to say no. So, like, a few hours before bedtime, he would just start hanging out in my room. And he'd sort of get uh. comfortable in a chair that's right next to the bed. And so, you know, but this is where the fucking immovable object meets the other fucking immovable object. And I'm just like, no, you're getting the fuck out of my room. And he would get mad at me. He felt entitled to my attention. There was times where, like, he knocks on the door and he starts opening it. And I know he's going to be worming his way through a three-hour fucking espionage plan to get into my room for the night. So I just... I'm Immediately bang on the door the other direction, block him out. By the time he got his strong enough, some bullshit. What's wrong with his room? But he just—he's just a fucking lonely person who has to be around human beings all the time. Now that he's an adult, okay. he says that he he borderline passes out on the road whenever he's driving to work because there's no one to talk to. Oh. So right, yeah, so it got to the point that he was like taking pocket knives and stabbing holes in the door, so mad <laughs> I wouldn't let him sleep in my room. No fucking, I'm not fucking joking. Two separate doors among two separate houses. He'd be punching holes in my door for right, being mad at me. That's a bit the, much. <laughs> yeah, to the point that I had to start, like, I enacted an absolute policy of no one opens my door at all, ever, without knocking and then getting permission. And then, well, that's like, how it should be, of course. And then years, years, years later, well, I guess seven, eight, nine years later, like, that... My brother has since greatly matured, but that policy is still in place, and everyone locks the door because I was, I'm a fucking psychopath who doesn't like being fucked with. Anyway, that's why you need locks on doors, you know? Cause, cause of that. There's this personality difference. Davu, you're Ugh. not a psychopath for not wanting some fucking rude foreign invader to destroy and dismantle your fucking lands. <laughs> I'm coming every well, single some day goddamn and ruin room your immigrant life. trying to take <laughs> yeah. your goddamn sleeping jobs and exactly. then ruin your yeah. economy. Understandable. You you are yeah. the only one sane in that. <laughs> nah, mm, uh, that's debatable. But you know sure. what? Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm open to the idea of having the locks on the doors, but I, I think I definitely feel weird about like if my kid like locked his door every night for no reason. I, I would I would object. I would object. You I are my door quite nice fucking because I Yeah, dude, like, who are, you, who are you to tell him, like, dude, you, you should I am the father. It is my house. I paid well, for well, the well, house well, in this me, situation. Well, what are, you, what are you gonna tell them to do instead? You're gonna be like, you're not gonna be in your room. You're gonna be down here. You're gonna be my fucking friend, you little cunt. Is that what you're gonna say? <laughs> yeah, like... That's exactly I just, right, yes. I, Only, I won't a... even give him the choice because I'll just buy the house I want. I'm that, I have I'm that such, far ahead of him. I have such a fucking vivid image of what kind of dad you are going to be. Like, it's going to be really funny. Like, I imagine Nate really as funny. the dad. Have, have, uh, I doubt any of you have ever seen the show Ar- um, Arakawa Under the Bridge. But the main character is this guy who's, like, a lawyer, and his dad is, like, a, a rich rich lawyer guy. And his dad taught him, like, you always have to repay every debt in your life, including mm-hmm. when he – basically, when he comes of age, his dad then make like, becomes a baby who he then has to take care of in order to, oh, like, pay back – What the Like, he makes his kid <laughs> pay back the debt of having been raised by him by making <laughs> him then, like, take care of his dad. Well, that – that just doesn't make any sense because that's, that's, that's like that's, the, just, that's, the, that's just the circle of life, my dogs. Yeah. No, that that's the son having to pay for both like his own children and his parents. That doesn't make sense. Like you pay it for yeah. the next generation. Well, I don't, not, I don't know how that works. Um, I don't know. It's an anime. Anime yeah. is not. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. right. You're right. The point is thinking. that it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm yeah. with you. I'm with you. Did he become a literal baby? Did he like turn he into like, one? Or no, he just like he just. We, you only see him for like a minute. Like we just get like uh-huh. this is just the backstory okay. of the main character. But his uh-huh. dad like puts on a bib and gets in a high chair and it's like you have to feed me. Now. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> because I, I understand the one years. for that kind of justice. No, all right, that's good. Nate. Well, let me let me explain just uh-huh. real briefly here. My door is always locked. But no matter what, what are you no- hiding, Munchie? What are you hiding what is in it? there? He's this life, a fucking dick. What do you think he's hiding? That's yeah. the only I want to see you jack that dick, my son. I'm gonna watch door. you. I'm gonna watch you touch yourself, and you're gonna show me what you've learned. And I'm gonna correct your technique, you worthless baby. <laughs> shit. Our dad tends not to be ashamed of our penis, especially since it's exactly. like a good size, and all. Exactly. Uh, but whenever, I, I don't want you ripping the skin, Munchie. I don't want you ripping the skin. You're gonna learn. 
but no matter what, whenever when someone knocks on the door, I just uh-huh. let them in. Because they're Nate, usually just fu- like, hey, hello. Fucking Nate's going to be like, his son's going to be jacking off in his doorless room, and Nate's going to come in and be like, you know, it's more efficient if you turn your hand like this. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not telling you how to jack your well, dick, see, son, but, that's, but if that's you turn your thing. hand this way, it's, I'm just saying it'd be more okay, efficient. Okay, you guys... You guys are all coming from the perspective of, like, our parents who are, like, who, you know, they still, there's vestiges in culture of, like, being ashamed of masturbation and being ashamed of your you body. You want to watch your son check off? You want to walk in I on would that? be... I'm I'm down to clown, baby boy. Let's get this okay. going. Yes! Let's get this is on. like yes! this doesn't make any fucking sense, dude. None of us here are ashamed of mastication. Would any of uh, us masticate in the same room? Yes. <laughs> Well, uh, that no, makes one happen. of us. No, I wouldn't. Dude, we went out. We went out. We we masticated in the same room together. We went out and we all masticated masticated together in public, my dudes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. it's true. He's right. He's Many right. Times. There's no <sighs> redeeming under the uh, b- uh. before the eyes of God and man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, basically, what I'm saying is, if you don't give your child a lock, you should be locked up in jail. That is agreed. I agree. Yeah. You know, I'm willing to entertain. I remember. It. I remember as a kid. One of the things I did as a kid all the time was, like, hear about p- parental policies of other people's kids and, like, scoff at them for being totalitarian yeah. and shit. Because, I mean, my parents only befriended other even Christian or Christians. And, like, like one family I knew, they, they had a policy of if you're going to the bathroom, you have to keep the door slightly open. And I'm like, what okay, the fuck? Okay, that's fucked. That's Why? fucked. Yeah. Why? And it's, like, it's, like, it's like four to eight-year-olds, but still. That's, like, eight? pretty like, fucked. I, I'm not... Well, uh, I mean, if they're like little babies, I like, sort of get yeah, it. Yeah, eight you know? is like, what are you in like, no, like yeah. third grade by then? Jesus. Fuck's yeah, it's sake. pretty at, fucked. I'm just at like, some point, wrong with these at, people. Here, really, the there thing, is a though. cutoff point where you have to be willing to let your child drown in the toilet if they fuck up that yeah. bad. It's just you have to take that plunge. And I mean, I, I could say, see not. I could see not having a lock on the bathroom door if you're worried about your kids. Yeah, I completely understand why down. Nate would be hesitant to take any of our stances into consideration because i'm sure that he has no desire for his kids to come out at all like any of us of course so, not so true. any of the things that we take as wisdom because our parents did it or because we think it would be a good idea <clears throat> i don't think is going to be stuff that Nate's my gonna my to. kids are going to be the most chad thundercock alpha children <laughs> of all time okay, okay, okay all Nate, time. here's some basic fucking logic when you what? were a teenager, did you need that lock? Are you, do you really think that that lock really made your life worse, or that it you would have been um, even worse or without it? You know, to, to be honest, thinking about it, like I, uh, I would have been more comfortable with the lock. It's true, I right? So here's the thing, right? You're probably mm-hmm. thinking, oh well, my kids, I'll, I, I know all the ways that I was like fucked in the head by my parents. I just won't do those things. And indeed, most parents who give a shit are able to roughly not make mm-hmm. all the same mistakes their parents did. But the fact is, you're going to make your own mistakes. mistakes. Parents yeah, never know. Right. P- parents never realize that. You know, I mean, my parents are definitely like that. No, none of the problems that they were given. But you know, it's just you can't be perfect. Life isn't. That's just not how. Fucking life works, right? I know exactly. Yeah, you're what, entirely right. You're I know entirely exactly right. what problems I'm going to create for my kids. I know exactly yeah. how it's going to go down. And it's on I, purpose. I know which problems I'm going to fix for my parents, which is that my parents are terrible at communication and just using words. Dude, the the problem you're going to have is that your uh, your kids are going to walk down the room, walk out of their room, and they're going to see you walking down naked through the hallway. Just fucked my <laughs> girlfriend, everybody. <laughs> just got my son just on my fucked body your mom. Right that now. is exactly no the problem I'm talking yeah. about. My yeah. kids, I, my yep, kids are yep. going to grow up with a <laughs> psychopath. They're going to grow up with mm-hmm. someone who has never known how to be normal trying to teach them how to be normal and yeah. and more likely teaching them how it doesn't matter to be normal like first of all my kids are going to know from from the time they are born that like there is no god and that school is bullshit and they're well, going to have to go to yeah. school with this knowledge and talk to other kids and be like you know here i i know i i can see it in my head a kid being like Oh, are you Christian? And they're being like, no, Christians are dumb. My daddy said so. And the next thing I know, I'm in school, fucking, like, at a parent-teacher conference, having to put my kid in some kind of fucking weird satanic private school cult or something. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Burn it all to the fucking ground, dude. but by the way, Nate, I'm just, I'm just imagining school. right now. <laughs> wait a second. Imagine... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. If your kid yeah. says there's no God in class and they get taken to Satan school, 
Like, <laughs> well, the, the Satan guys are more open minded than the, than the Jesus yeah. guys. Did you guys know that basically for there's there's an organization like the Satanists. Every time there's like a, a new leg, bit of legislation passes that like gives Christians permission to do like X Y Z, like teach you know uh, Christianity in schools in like some bumfuck nobody town. Like there's there's this cadre of Satanists that I, I haven't. <clears throat> I wish I could remember their name, God but Jesus. they then go in and make the same. Po- they like try to be yeah. like, okay, well we're going to now promote Satanism in this place like that. You just yeah. Oh my so fucking god! It's head like injury the up the it's ass. The best. Well, what I'm gonna do with my kids regarding religion is I'm just not gonna like say shit, or if they ask me, I'll be like, I don't think there's a god. But then obviously their grandparents will be able to talk their fucking ear off, and I will love to see what decision they come to on their own because I know there's kind of a trend of grandchildren to latch onto the ideology of two generations up rather than one generation up so that would be really fucking cute it if definitely my kids are, like, it definitely definitely skips a generation i was just yeah. i was only i was just talking to one of jackie's mm-hmm. friends the other day and he was telling me that uh he was telling me that like every gener like every other generation of his family is a preacher and then every generation in between is an alcoholic yeah I mean, <laughs> yeah oh, that's, that's perfect funny. it's perfect yeah well my, uh, my the only reason are, my parents mm-hmm. are a, a nihilist and a and, and a guy who just believes in weird random spiritual shit that he doesn't even get into so like between me and my parents it's, it's the same exact thing so i think our the, kids my kids are gonna be the, the only, exact same the only reason that i won't beat into the heads of my children how evil religion is and <clears throat> how brainwashed all the other sheep out there in the world are compared to them is because i'm afraid of that teenage backlash exactly. that they'll just yeah. switch around to the other side they like, you will know what? they Jesus definitely fucking will. rules well that, yeah. 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 i can't take that chance i cannot the, take the that problem chance. is the, the that your kids will get made fun of for like believing something different it'll make yeah. them strong it'll make them powerful unless you put them into a completely distinct scenario like a weird yeah. satanic cult school where like everyone thinks that shit you know mm-hmm. but it's just yeah. like all the arguments for why god is real that people just bring up are just so easily defeated by like remember guys you have no reason to believe any of this you're just going off on all these tangents like once you're armed with the <laughs> logical tools i mean fuck you know people have been talking about this yeah. for fucking centuries like <laughs> there's no argument anyone could make that is any no, value man. Talking about being a bad parent, I know that the place that I would fuck up if I'm not really careful is I'm going to be the fucking adoptive dad from Three Gods No Lion who uh, uh, only uh, cares about Shogi and all of his children, his ha. actual children, end up being scarred for life because they're not good at Shogi enough to get his attention, and his adoptive son is, and so they hate him and they become dysfunctional abortions forever. You know and what? I'm like, I yep, might have to that's adopt- what I'm going to be with... That's what I'm going to be with fucking, like, YouTube videos and video games. It's like, if my kids aren't as obsessed with art as I am, I'm not going to hang out with them as much unless I really discipline myself and I'm going to ruin them. And, uh, yep, that's going to be my <laughs> like, problem. Like, you know? like, your kids, like, like, your kids come and like, Dad, want to hang out? And you're like, ah. Guys, look, you're just you're just kind of embarrassing me in front of my cool art friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually love this you idea. Got, you kid, you kids are of, just too uh, square. Mm-hmm. I've got yeah. to adopt a superior athletic older kid to motivate my younger children to yeah. advance to that level and be cool and badass that's like actually, that. Just that's kind of, that is kind of genius. Like, yeah. adopt a kid to be the older sibling to your kids. That is kind of fucking oh, genius. Oh, well, I, I, I didn't catch that at first. That's that pretty fucking genius. I think I've and seen that course... in an anime, actually. I think I've yeah. seen that be used in a show, and it was, yeah... <laughs> You know, the mm-hmm. old the eldest kid always has like a thing like he he feels bad because he's not, you know, as like clearly not as loved by the parents because he's not their progeny. But at the same time, mm-hmm. the the siblings really look up to them. And so he, you know, exactly. still feels like part of the family. It's you adopt yourself a communa to motivate your younger shit yeah. children. And then you and know, obviously and the number one place to get adoptions from is Africa, where they have the best athletic ability. So it's pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Right there. there you go. It works perfectly. Adopt Digi, you can adopt baby. one of those like Russian babies. I know, like at one point in the '90s, they were adopting a lot of Russian babies, I and that way you can have the shit. best alcoholic. My, my, <laughs> I already know my kids are going to be fucking clones of me. Like they're just gonna really, be, yeah, they are. That's, there's no don't way. Don't you want to experiment with improvements like I Gohan don't... and Dragon Ball Z? Experiment yeah, with Gohan improvements. Totally like, a, yeah, let's just let's just take my kids and we'll just tinker with them a little bit. You know, that's yeah, just yeah, just that's just, just going, hammer dude. them out a little bit in my laboratory. I didn't mean exactly. literal clones. I meant they are going to be figurative clones. Of oh me. well, I meant literal. I man. When you think that way, that that's like an idealistic way of thinking. Like I've already thought, you know. The I'm, idea of like, right. Right. okay, Look, I'm gonna am, have kids who are gonna be into sports. That's just what I just have to get ready for that right now, right? I want my kids to be into sports so I can get into sports, so I can play tennis with my kids. That would be fucking awesome. 
but like yeah, why tennis? You know, like, why tennis? Tennis. Yeah, that's what Raito Kun spot. and L played. Tennis is by and, far uh, my favorite sport, so that's why. The, see, there you, there you go. You're still idealizing. So look at this. Obviously, the most obvious way to rebel against you is to be super like Western culture and fuck weed I shit, right? I don't so think my kids are going to be rebellious, though. I was ne- ne- me and my brothers were never yeah, rebellious. We had no. But phase your parents like are like the most rebellious people ever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, that's why I think like. My attitude, like, everything about how I am is, like, if you just put my parents in a blender, you get me. You know, like, I am exactly like them. I don't know. And when you, when you think that when you think that it's going to be predictable, that's how that will be your folly. If you have an idea of what maybe. you want your kids to be, I then don't, that's we're all the fucking talking out of our ass. Yeah, here you're anyway. completely making that up, Davu. Like, it, there's no logic to well, support. Well, so that. are you, though. So are you. I you d- have no idea what your kids are actually. Gonna I know, do. I'm yeah. just yeah. saying, it makes the most sense to me that, like, considering that me, Victor, and Shade are all exactly like our parents, and I know. I'm the kind of person who's going to be extremely close with my kids. I'm probably going to be, like, right on them at all times. Maybe they'll get annoyed with me. Maybe they'll get sick of me when they get into their teen phase. But, like, by the time they're teenagers, it doesn't matter if they get rebellious in the teen phase. You've already fucking built their mind. Like, you know, they're already you. Like, everyone... But the building process doesn't go smoothly all the time, and you never know what you're actually building. Almost every rebellious, like, kid is, like, a carbon copy of their parents. Like, yeah. you know, my mom, like, all the things she can't stand about her mom is just the stuff that is exactly the shit she does, you know? Like, everything that she criticizes her mom for is something that she just has a different version of. So, like, mm-hmm. I think exactly almost everyone, like... like Anytime I hear somebody be like, oh, my mom, she's such a fucking bitch, she does this and this, I'm like, you basically do that, just in a different form, you know? Um, yeah. This has been a really enlightening discussion of homes and homelessness. Yeah, it has. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's true. Well, <laughs> join us for the sequel yeah. to this in 10 years when we all have kids. I want us to have a proper How We Raised Our Kids cast. That's Ooh. a good idea. And Ooh, don't anyone yeah. tell yeah. anyone anything about your home life. We want it to not spoil it for the 10-year <laughs> podcast. Yeah, like, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it, anybody. <laughs> Uh, I imagine right. that's what Dick would do if, like, he gets if he gets a girl pregnant. He's like, "All right, I'm not gonna see until it's like five years old. I want to like get my live reaction on the show, like see what the kid looks like. I don't yeah. even know what color it is uh, necessarily." He'd hype it for twenty episodes before talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, uh, does anyone my... want to close? Yeah, go on, Munchie. Go uh, on. Uh, me, I just uh, to uh, go with Digi. Uh, I have never mm-hmm. been rebellious against my mom ever. Uh, she's always just been, uh, "Hey, shut the fuck up. You're retarded and also <laughs> tiny." <laughs> And I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Munchie, if, she, if she says that, your mom must be enormous. Your mom yeah. must be the largest woman in the world. No, no, no. Uh, Ronda but, Rousey, the largest woman in the world, a.k.a. Munchie's but, mom. But, but, but it's, made, it's made me think, because I'm not rebellious as in, like, fuck you, mom. But I am mm-hmm. rebellious in the sense that I'm not retarded and also angry all the time. Like, oh, you know, like, like yeah, she, like yeah. she says you're retarded, so like you d- don't be retarded, like just to stick it to her. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, like joke, I mean, jokes on you, mom. I know what's I fucking mean, up. Oh, okay. It, 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 it's like she always, she's, she's pretty like gullible, and she, she's super hard, like you know, lib cuck. Yeah, she's super uh, gullible and, because she lives in an apartment. Ex- yeah, ex- exactly, exactly. Uh, and, and she's also like really angry. She, she's like car cat, basically. A twenty four seven. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Uh, uh, specifically, like in between unresolved act six and character five arcs, out the ass. All right. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, so so I'm like in I, I, IRL offline. I'm like calm. I don't really, you know, I'm not really fucking crazy, except mm-hmm. for when I go out in public. Like like when I say in real life, I mean like in my room, <laughs> not on the computer. But then when I walk outside the room, I'm just like this. It's like there are weird, there like, are limbo slivers room. of sanity. In yes, that. right. Slivers right. of slivers of sanity. Anyway, so in that, I'm, like, very different from my mom in the sense that I'm not, uh, fucking weird. But, uh, you know, I, th- I think that's mm-hmm. the way I rebel, in the sense that I am still crazy. Never mind, my point makes no sense. Yeah, that's what it's I, like. I, no, I that's what it's like. The pendulum, the pendulum swings. Here. The pendulum swings mm-hmm. back and forth with every generation. Mm-hmm. Or, except mm-hmm. for the times that it doesn't. And except mm-hmm. for the times that it kind of <laughs> does and kind of no, doesn't ben, and falls somewhere in the middle. No, it's pendulums within pendulums. That's what it is. It's like, it's like a... It, yeah, it's it it's like wheels dimension. within wheels. Hey, yeah. you know what's cool? It's like the turtles all the way down. Title screen with the pendulum. I gotta be right back. Yeah.
Oh my right. god, I cried. How about... That animation is so good, dude. It's three minutes of pure masterpiece. I love Pendulum. Nostalgia. <laughs> oh, right. That was good. Okay, guys, we're going I off think, the rails. I think we don't have enough fucking homelessness. We don't have time to crack the code of, of how to fix homelessness in America well, anymore. Wait, wait, we, we wait, wait. I just want to say, I just want to say uh -huh. as a closing statement, one day, if I play my cards right, I want to be homeless. And if at all possible, <laughs> dead in a gutter <laughs> with other dudes pissing on my floor. <laughs> if at all possible, that's my, that's my luckily, <laughs> luckily, I mean, you have all the tools at your disposal to make that happen. Yeah. I'm just going to say, yeah, through God, all things are possible. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, True. have hope. Take heart. Take heart. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's switch to questions here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we got a whole bunch of questions. So let's see what we got. Okay. Here's one to start us off. Um, here we go. At SizzWhiteScum69, who I know oh, has asked the question me. before. Yeah, that's a Munchie's alt count. Yeah. Uh, asked, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thoughts on those who leech off your content without patroning? So just like thoughts on in general people who who watch our shit without uh, remember that being crime wing re uh, eliminated remember that that was pretty funny does he mean does he mean wait yeah I re wait he doesn't no. he doesn't mean people like reposting content he's just talking yeah. about like free watchers just people who yeah. watch and oh. don't do well I mean that's oh. that's their prerogative you know yeah. like we put I mean, it we, out there for free yeah we, wait, we're not charging it. for mean? it in the first place and we it would be it would be really hard to gain patrons if our content was gated to yeah, begin exactly. with. Like, you got to get an audience of people, and, like, most people aren't going to be that interested or they don't think the content's worth it. I mean, fucking Ben and, and Nate are both huge mm -hmm. proponents of never pay for any art ever, so they... I am not a proponent not at all. True. I just do I that for me back. selfishly. That's only <laughs> for me. I, Everyone else has to I pay. I used to be on that, but then but then I started then I started making exceptions, like when I pirated Undertale because I was mad that Toby Fox didn't retweet my fucking fan art, but then, <laughs> but then I ended up liking Undertale so much that I went and bought it on Steam anyway, even though I I'd already played it and beaten it just out of guilt. Um, so when that's was my the last story. time you bought a game that costed more than fifteen dollars? More than well, well, I mean that's not a fair question because I no, have I'm not, I him. have not, I have not played a game that costs more than fifteen dollars in years. And wow, years. Well, I wouldn't listen, know. When listen I... to this. Listen yeah. to this. I I just yesterday bought Shovel Knight on my Switch because I have beaten. I had one hundred percent at Shovel Knight years ago, but I like that game so much. And there's new modes, and so I and I bought it specifically for the convenience of playing on my Switch, which is the greatest thing in the world. Every other console is garbage. Is sponsored by Nintendo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, no, it's fucking great. So I paid for that because there was a. I, it was the only way I could play it on my Switch, and I did it because I had no choice. If I'd been able to torrent that shit and play it on my Switch like for free, I would have done that because that's easier. So I'm saying, people, yeah. force me to pay for things. That's what you got to do. Uh, I cherish the time when I get to pay for something. Whenever I get like some throwaway, like I, I always just save money. But when I get throwaway money, I'm like. Finally, I can buy that fucking Bandcamp album I've wanted to buy for a long time. And then uh -huh. I can get in fucking Flack, bro! Fuck yeah, Fuck Flack. Flack! You're Fuck morally clean. Flack, Flack <laughs> Alright, we're bro? not even really yeah. answering the question. I don't think any of us has a problem with yeah. people watching our shit without being patrons. It's fine. I want to clarify. clarify my stance. My stance on paying for art is not that you shouldn't pay for art. My stance is that my, you shouldn't pay for art that <sighs> you don't care about. And I just happen not to care about any art. Especially not my own. So that's Wait, why I into questions now yeah we're in questions okay um yeah my stance on paying oh, for art is if you can do that things the to question. the general it's not really the question oh really oh <laughs> shit i went to pee for a minute so i missed the okay. question it, no matter let's just go to the next one here okay this guy's been asking this question for like i think weeks now so let's just fa let's just do him the favor of responding because it's really simple uh what's your favorite colors asks uh, at spidey juice it's like a oh, picture yeah. that he made uh, so. black and white your favorite black and white. blue Crush them. Crush yes. them. Yes. Yes. White. There you go. Uh, uh, purple. Purple's my favorite color. Oh, me too. My, my thing is, my favorite color is every color from red to blue. Uh, okay. All of the in-betweens. Sure. Everything. Well, that's and, actually and a pretty good red. answer, Munchie. I, yeah. that's, oh my god, that's a good answer. I picked the same. <laughs> it's a, yeah. yeah I, mean, I don't have to do too. something like that. Honestly, I'm into every color right now, so... My favorite I don't have color is color. everything, everything on the right entire now. color wheel, but with the saturation turned all the way down. <laughs> no, I no, man, we can't be friends anymore. Colors, <laughs> colors are overrated. I, I think, I think my 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 favorite, aside from red to blue, would be like also anything on, um, any um, what's the word, shade of red, like pink or mm. yeah. Like oh, I, I, I send that to me that too. Any, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Oh my god. Okay, hopefully that was enough. Cause guys, we got it. This is a this is a fascinating question. This is another one from at SizzWhiteScum69, and this man needs help. All right, listen to this. At a super quis Christian wedding right now, what can I do to have a good time? Well, this man needs advice. This, How this can he have a good time? It's gonna be a week. Oh later. fuck! I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> just, just drink. Well, just drink all the sacramental yeah. wine. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing mm -hmm. to do. Find Get alcohol. wasted. Just do everything you can to make everyone regret inviting you. That's what I would do. Right, give us yeah. another question. That guy's is out of date. He should have thought about the fact that it wouldn't get to him for a week. You're just right tell about everyone that. there that Bernie would have won. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, because nothing can win against Hillary. <laughs> Hillary is perfect. She is. Oh, immortal. how are you doing that pop out stand thing? My pop out stand is the greatest thing in my life right now. It's a fu it's bigger than me. It's huge. It's massive. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, she's been standing behind me for days now. Every fucking time I turn around, I jump. Because she's just looking at me. She's just looking at me with that fucking smile on her face. Oh, man. You know, it's funny, I, actually, I don't know, man. There's actually an old photo of me with an Obama cutout from, like, four years ago because we went to this one, like, catfish restaurant owned by, like, a black family, Oh, and they have no. an Obama room. Okay. Obama. Yeah, it's like an entire Wait, is this Obama like a good room. Obama room or a bad Obama room? Where are they it's going It's a good with this? Obama room. It's a, it's okay. a black family okay. who owns a business. It's, uh, Nate, it's, a, it's oh, an Obama oh, I see. room. Nate, we got to get a picture of, of Hillary. Your Hillary cut out with my elated Arab gentleman. People have been oh, tweeting about that. It needs to be a yeah. meeting yeah. of the need that. <laughs> Next time, we'll, we'll make sure that happens. Yeah. I, I just nice. imagine Nate has the same relationship that Dave does with little Cal. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. She's mm -hmm. constantly up in my shit, moving yeah. around, look, spazzing out, look, doing look, crazy looking fucking... at you, Looking at you with that knowing look, because she knows how to fix America. And she yeah. is, in fact, puppeted by the speed of light moving actual Hillary Clinton around my room. <laughs> just manipulating <laughs> yeah. her, moving her every time I like, blink. <laughs> that's what's happening. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. This is a juicy question. All right, here we go. At Pop Vulture asks... Rank every race from best to worst on how hot the women. Oh, well, that's are. easy. That's easy. Yeah. Uh, the 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 Pokemon race, uh, yeah, the Pokemon Dark Souls race, race uh, yeah. and then the, and then the Kirby race. <laughs> Kirby is last. Where Kirby's got to be first. They're the, no, they're the hottest. Not first. Yeah, Same. yeah. What Nate, you, you Nate, you really you really phoned it in on that Kirby race. People were disappointed. Yeah, I was actually reading those replies today. Uh, they were disappointed. Uh, but we, I don't have fucking time to do all this shit. That, that wasn't the problem. I that or the problem is that we didn't have enough people. Because if it was just three people, it was just lame. We need to have, like, five people at least. Yeah, you like, need to have four. someone I mean, who sucks ass so that the show lasts long enough for exactly. everybody to discuss you the really, strategies. You, you really kind of do need two people who really care. And you need, like, yeah, you need at, at least, least two, two people who are, who are real competitors. And what the problem uh -huh. was, there was really only one real competitor on yeah, that one. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's true. It's true. Uh, so, yeah, there, there you go. Um, nah, that's a shitty one. Uh, da, da, da. No, these are all shitty questions. Are any of these fucking good? No. Oh, no. I'm just responding to how bad all your questions are. God, get the fuck out of here. We've got the best uh, fans. Uh, here we go, guys. Here we go. At Benjamin Whistle asks, uh, is Nicolas Cage the worst or best actor oh. ever? Oh. Fucking Benjamin. Fuck what stupid the retard. Fuck? Benj Benj oh, Benjamin Whistle. Benjamin Whistle. You're you're a fine bloke, but 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 get <laughs> but get but get this get this meme shit out of here. All right. Uh, can I just find one decent question? No, these are all. Why bad. don't we not have fans? Asked by <laughs> Munchie. Yeah. Here's a good ads. question: Who's better? Okay. Uh, well, what's a better show? Kill La Kill or Hey Arnold? Wait, we already answered uh -oh. that question, and you can find the answer by listening to our bonus episode. Oh, yes. oh my god! If you donate five dollars to the Procrastinators Patreon, you get access to no less than three bonus episodes. There's four now. That's four. 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 Uh, the fourth of which is a discussion on whether Kill La Kill or Hey Arnold is better. I'm there, DeVoo's there, Nate's there, Jesse's there, and Hippo's there. It's a good oh, time. Not yeah, only there. that, not only there. that, gentlemen, not only oh, yeah. that, Hippo's, the actual, all those bonus <laughs> episodes, the access there. to the fucking sick as fuck aesthetic Patreon mm -hmm. Lounge. So Get this true. exclusive PCP Patreon Lounge Discord chat room where you can chill with all your favorite characters like <laughs> Nate Best Guy Ever yeah. or Munchie yeah. or yeah. Donald Trump. All of them here <laughs> yeah. in the chat ready to talk and chat with you. Yeah, Nate and, and Munchie and actually You can pull all of your there. personal problems. We do. Yeah. We do. 
no one else there. Yeah, about that Discord, yeah. And so yeah. there you go, folks. There's that. And don't remember, don't forget, uh, uh, what is it? Redbubble slash P- redbubble.com slash people slash procrastinators or the whatever. The link's in the description. You remember. Buy our shit. It's all there. There's the other store, the print all over me. Uh, there you go, folks. Everything you could fucking want. So go buy our shit. Don't buy a house. Your ex wife will take it from you in the divorce. I shouldn't have gone. I should have gone to prenup. (laughs) No! You ain't no punk. Holla, we want prenup. We want prenup. Yeah. We want prenup. It's something that you need to have because if she leave your ass, she gonna leave with half. Leave with half. All right, fucking enough. Wait, do we have another question? Did you ever find a good one? No. No, I didn't. No, I was no, just going to end it there. I was just going to fade out everybody. right bye, now. Bye, bye, bye. 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 So long. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm 